Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and with the US Open only one week away, we have some big names that are pulled out of the event and some more names that are in doubt because they've either been injured over the last couple of weeks or they might not be able to get into the country. Let's go have a look at the WTA players that are not playing this year's US Open. So we don't have that many withdrawals compared to Wimbledon, of course. Starting with Pavlia Chenkova, she's not playing because of a knee injury. Vondrusova, she's pulled out with a wrist injury. And Kachova has also withdrawn through injury. Having a look at the men's side of things, and we have Alexander Zverev officially withdrawing with a right ankle injury. Of course, he's coming back, hopefully for the Davis Cup after the US Open. Haven't seen him since the French Open. Monfils, he's out with a right foot injury after re-injuring his foot in Canada a few weeks ago, which was such a shame because he just come back from a huge injury layoff. Harris has also pulled out with a wrist injury that is going to keep him out for the rest of the season. And Riley Opelka has also pulled out with a foot injury. He hasn't played the last couple of tournaments and won't be playing the big one in New York. Let's go have a look at the players that are in doubt for the US Open, either due to injury concerns or just unable to make it into the country. Danielle Collins, she has been struggling with a neck injury over the last couple of months and is in serious doubt to play the US Open. Anissa Mova, she is also in doubt due to a right foot injury. Coco Goff, she's also coming in with an injury at the US Open after rolling her left ankle in Cincinnati and having to retire from her match. Of course, Novak Djokovic, he is very, very unlikely to play the US Open due to being unvaccinated and unable to make it into the country. We'll keep an eye on his status over the next couple of days. And Simona Halep, she pulled out of Cincinnati last week with a thigh injury. So we'll see how she looks going into the US Open. But I think with Halep, it's more of just a precautionary measure as she had played Canada and won Canada the week before. There you have it. All the players that are not playing the US Open or in doubt to play the US Open, of course, Zverev was kind of 50-50. We're seeing if he was going to play or not. He was hinting at maybe playing and then he pulled out last minute. But uh, Novak Djokovic, he is the big talking point. And as of right now, he's still on the list. So watch this space, because we're going to keep an eye on Djokovic over the next couple of days and to see if he actually withdraws or, of course, if the CDC changed their rules so he can come into the country and play. Let me know down in the comments below who you're going to miss the most out of that list of players. 